So this is the boot of my uh, Ford Focus Mark III. So as we all know, they suffer with water leaks and water getting into the boot. And quite often that manifests itself. Essentially, if you feel along the bottom edge here, that usually gets quite wet and sort of the inner boot liner. And underneath that, you should be able to see it through here, hopefully. There's this sort of gray carpety stuff, sound deadening, and that gets absolutely soaked. And the bottom sort of couple of inches of it are quite wet. And usually the culprit for that is the vents that are behind the bumper. So, so to check if it's actually the vents leaking, what you want to do is have a little look under the bumper here, right up in this corner. So basically if you look up at the floor here towards the side of the car, there'll be a hard plastic grommet, not a rubber one. There's a hard plastic grommet in this corner. You pull that out and it'll just piss sort of rotten smelling water out onto the floor. And you can see from the grommet on mine, I've put a hole in mine. So when I plugged it back in, essentially if any water does get in there, it just runs out of that hole. So behind the bumper, there's four vents, two on each side. I'll cut in some pictures here, but basically what happens is they let water leak in at the top because there's this little rubber flange seal around the sides that never seals properly. So the water trickles down the boot aperture, down onto the top of these vents and then into this little pocket inside the rear of the car. And if that gets more than perhaps 25 mil of water in it, it goes up high enough that it can basically just go through a hole and into the boot. So that's why you get water in that corner essentially. So I've already fixed that on this one. So you just take the vents out, put some mastic around them and glue them back on. And then that stops the water getting in. That's the big first sort of go-to problem area you need to check. But mine's still doing it. So if we have a quick look in the boot, so I've roughly pieced the car back together so I can show you how to take it apart. First of all, there's this little plastic panel up here. So you just pry that down and pop it out and it's just got clips on it. So that's easy. Then we go over to the uh, C pillar support here, pop out this little plastic cover and underneath the T25 Torx, you just unscrew that and then basically pull the thing towards yourself. And that just comes out again on clips. There's two screws in it, again T25s, and then you just grab it and pull it towards yourself. Be careful though, because there is an electrical wire attached to the uh, bulb here. So pop that off, comes down towards yourself, and then you just unplug this. And once you've unplugged your wire, roll it forward, lay on the floor. We'll obviously have the seat belt still attached through it unless you want to take the seat out and then undo the seat belt but there's no point because this isn't really coming out it's just going down there and then there's the last cover which i guess is a d pillar cover i guess and again that's all clipped in so you just sort of pull it towards yourself and that unclips and then you do have to be careful at this top edge there's a little tongue that tucks behind the uh, roof lining and you sort of roll that out and then the whole thing comes off again if you look at the back of it, there's only clips, but this uh, piece of sound deadening on mine is soaking wet funnily enough, because that's where all the drips are coming from. So what I had noticed was when you take it out for a drive after it's sat overnight, there'd be a few speckles of water on the top of the boot carpet in both corners just here. So as we can see here, there's still the drip coming down from this cable. And that's where it's been dripping down here onto the area that holds the seat belt. And then from there, that's been running down the side. And obviously this is the sort of carpety sound deadening stuff that it's been soaking into as well. So this side was a little bit wet, but not too badly. So long story short, I thought to myself, well, it can't be the boot vents anymore because I've sorted those out. So they're, they're freshly done. And being as we're dripping down from here, obviously water doesn't travel uphill. So essentially we're about level with the back of the uh, C pillar window. So if we have a quick look up outside of this. So if we follow this up, obviously we're level here with the window. This is where the window is. So it's got to be coming from above this point. So I did initially think it's possible that there could be a leak from underneath this plate or through down through the screw threads. You can actually see the ends of the screw threads through this slot here. And obviously this is below the point where the water is, so it's not that but that's one place it can leak from. Then obviously you've got all of these seams here. So this I think is probably the most likely candidate, which is this rather disappointing application of seam sealer. So you can see by now, I mean the cars, it's a 2011 model. So the car's only 11 years old 
and this is all cracked and crazed and God knows what. And this apparently appears to be the only way of sealing between these two panels. So it seems to me it's most likely that it's dripping in through here, down through this panel here, and then it's coming through this plastic boss that's used to clip the wiring to the actual interior of the boot because that's where it's tri dripping down from. I'll cut in some footage now of me in the car when it was absolutely peeing down with rain to show you how much fun this was to actually find. So we'll chuck that in now. There you go, ready? About to drip. Just this corner here. There you go. Quality Ford. Well done. So the first port of call for me is gonna be this piece of seam sealer. I think I'm gonna clean it up and put some more seam sealer over the top of it. And then uh, that I know at least that the most obvious sort of join is gone. And that is directly above where it's leaking through. Obviously there is this seam that goes down the side as well, but from here downwards would be below the point it's dripping. So I really don't think it's coming from anywhere there. There is obviously the hinge. They could possibly leak around the sides and also these two rubber grommets in the top. So it would be more likely to be dripping here and giving you a wet headlining. Same with this point here. So I have got another leak on the passenger side. It's slowly dripping down again from up inside this pocket. And it's sort of like a horizontal seam somewhere inside the C pillar. The problem is you can't actually see that seam from the outside. So I think it might be tracking down from this join here. So I'm gonna redo this with some more sealant or it could be coming through the base of this. So I'm gonna start with this one and see how we get on. I'm also gonna try and put some sealant on my hand and just shove it up inside the C pillar and run it down the part where I saw it leaking through. So that's basically where I'm starting from. But now I definitely know there's two leaks coming from higher up than just where the vents were. I'm gonna uh, carry on now and stick some tiger seal on this I think and uh, do the other side as well so there we go all sealed up put some masking tape down obviously the side to try and keep the lines a little bit straighter and then just put in some it's basically to tiger seal so this is the stuff I used this U-Pol tiger seal and it's a uh, polyurethane sealant and adhesive it's similar to the stuff they used to like stick windscreens and stuff in so it's it's good stuff basically so yep sorted that out so both sides at the top and I also came down here as well just did that little piece across there because that's another one of the visible joins and also another one down that side as well because that's another place where water might be leaking in from I'm going to leave it there and uh, up inside there inside this boxed off cavity was where the uh, other leak was coming through the seam so all I did was Put a gloved hand up there with some sealant on the fingertips and just basically rubbed it blindly along the seam until i felt it was covered up then just had a quick look in there and it all seemed to be good so there we go so what i'll do now is i'll give it a month or two check it obviously every time it rains and make sure nothing else is coming in okay sit rep this bitch is still leaking so down here at the carpet level this is wet and also the uh, sound deadening behind it and what I can see is it's dripping there's a drip coming from here on this panel and then dropping down so we have to follow that back up now nothing directly above it looked or felt wet but inside here in this sort of section there's like this triangular plastic rubber thing and it's styrofoamed or builders foamed to block off that channel. I don't know if I can actually get up there and see it, but probably not. Let's shove a torch up there for the fun of it. There you go, so it's blocked off by that plastic rubbery thing with some expanding foam. And on the other side of that, you can get to through here. So through these ones, you can see, and I had a quick look in there and there looked to be a puddle sitting on top of it. So if we quickly take a piece of rolled up kitchen roll and bung him through the hole stick that in there for a second and pull it out and it's soaking wet on the end so there's definitely like a puddle of water sitting here that's now slowly trickling down to that when it gets through the foam so the weird thing is it's no longer leaking from where it was originally so blocking up those channels at the top with some extra 
sealant seems to have done something because it's no longer leaking from there. So it's either leaking further down or it's leaking from somewhere further up and tracking down in a different place. So that's that's at least one leak cured because it's no longer dripping down here onto the seat belt. So what we'll do is have a quick look around the rest of the car and see if we can figure out where the hell this is coming from. So, so I've lifted up the uh, roof gutter strips, pop them off at the back here. And if we have a look underneath, where the side panel meets the roof panel, there's obviously an entire strip of mastic running the whole length of the vehicle. And for these two or three inches here, it's cracked and split away. And you can actually see it's fairly deep there. So hopefully this is uh, this is the issue. It's above where the uh, water was collecting and dripping from. So it's a good place to start. So, okay. So I've rigged up this little catch pot underneath the place where it's dripping from. I've got myself large bottle of water here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start pouring water into the channel around the boot and we'll see what happens so i'm going to start just above the pot where it was dripping we'll see what happens you let me know if it drips no it doesn't look like anything happened okay so now we'll move up to the uh roof itself and pour some down the channel where that split was There we go, nice thin layer of tiger seal, squared it down there, smoothed it out with your finger. Obviously you have to keep it as low as possible because when this clips back on, there's quite a fair amount of plastic and stuff that wants to sit sort of in that channel. And if you push it down too early, it'll probably just glue itself in there, which I don't want. So, so we'll let that cure and then we'll do the test again to make sure we haven't got another leak. And then the last place that mine was leaking was through the seal itself. So. On the back side of it here, it had shrunk away, sort of pulled away from the bodywork. So when the water was coming down, it was hitting the side here and then rushing up and underneath it. And I just caught a drip running down here. And then I saw it sneak in between these two panels before it dropped down into this bucket that I've put here. So that was that. So all I did was lift up the seal itself. And you'll find that from the factory, there's this gray sort of non-setting putty underneath it. So basically I got myself some plumbers, mate, which is a, just a non-setting putty you can get from any DIY store. Rolled up a little bit of that around it and then shoved it back on the top and now it seems to be sealing and it's been absolutely chucking it down on and off for the past few weeks and months and the boot is now completely dry. So now I can tidy up all the towels, strip out all of this fantastic MacGyver contraption and then put the interior back together. Hope this video helps you out guys and it uh, helps you solve some of your leaks as well.